What's up, Pan dudes? Peter Ron Panda here. Just got myself another watch. And uh, it's not going to be my watch for very long, to be honest. Do you know why? Do you know why it's not going to be my watch for very long? Because I want one of you Pan dudes out there to have it. Stay tuned. We'll tell you more about that. So this one is a Skimi. And I've had different Skimis come through here before. And I've always liked them. Uh, water resistant, kind of a case back, obviously a sporty watch, but it's kind of like a Suntu in that it's very smooth and streamlined. Kind of my GT84 uh, Citizen Echo Drive. It's all like plastic and rubber construction, so it's pretty light, I mean, aside from back here and the internals. Uh, but all the buttons and everything look like plastic, obviously black. The, uh, the band here, very integrated, and they kind of drop down very dramatically right so they should get around your wrist which is good and almost necessary because why because this is a pretty big watch man this is a pretty big watch it is 52 millimeters edge to edge so that's a big watch right i don't think we'll argue that uh, but it doesn't really actually seem that big and uh, obviously the sport outdoor type of watches tend to be bigger tend to be oversized obviously to have kind of that rugged look but also kind of that extra protection and, and structure so that if you impact it, it's not going to destroy the watch. Really curved, which kind of helps bring, you know, the size down. In fact, you can see kind of a really dramatic curve here so that the dial is kind of squished down and looks kind of normal size. So if I put it on my wrist here, again, seven and a half inch wrist, you can see that it's nice that those straps on the band drop very much down, straight down because otherwise it would be probably it'd leave a big gap. Plenty of extra strap there, even on my fairly large wrist. The brushed uh, buckle here is pretty pretty standard, pretty kind of low rent. A little bit of texturing right there, kind of a nice little look. Um, looks like there's a push pin or a spring bar all the way through there, but here it is. Seven and a half inch wrist. You know, I think it looks pretty good, right? I mean, it does have, you know, especially because it kind of spreads out there at the top where it attaches to the watch. You know, it gives it kind of a little bit of a bracelet look to it. But no more or less than other, you know, G-Shock, S-Shock, Skimi, Fanbis, Apison watches, right? Uh, certainly fits under the sleeve of this shirt. And that has to do with the fact that it's not a super tall watch, but... You know, I would certainly go out and adventure with this bad boy. And like I said, no big gaps under well, under the wrist and the watch, which is nice. All right, so let's take a look at the feature set of this little bad boy. And obviously a digital display, day, time, and um, alarm, uh pedometer maybe sig and that there you go thanks for watching peter mumpand out uh just kidding i'm not actually sure what all of that means or does obviously we have kind of an outer chapter ring here with led or an lcd screen that is flashing things looks like every second and light up here mode button here reset start stop so obviously a stopwatch and if we hit mode probably get to that stopwatch and there it is start i bet this is going to split sp is probably splitting and it does stop up here reset down there pretty uh pretty loud beeps on the the button pushes which isn't surprising uh after stopwatch is alarm and after that is programming mode so I can reset things there bottom kind of scrolls through oh so what this is is date I'm almost positive now because if I do this it's probably not going to get past 30 yep there we go so that's the date so this little arrow here pointing to p.m. just means that it's p.m. which is nice you can change the day here and then back so 
pretty straightforward. Still don't know what sig means. I'm thinking it's like signal. Maybe not super clear to me, but maybe it is for you. Obviously, you can set an alarm. Um, and then I'm assuming that maybe the signal is uh, an hour chime or something like that. But I don't know. I wouldn't use it anyway. Um, I just like having sport watches like this that I can beat around, that can take a licking and keep on ticking. Um, obviously, a big, bright display, which is nice. This light is obviously going to be pretty nice for being able to use it in low light and dark conditions. Um, so I think, you know, I'm impressed with it. It's not expensive. If you're looking for a cheap watch to beat around and you really like this style, then pick it up. I'll put a link to it in the description so you can get it from where I got it, which was Amazon. But that being said, let's wrap this bad boy up and say, hey, let's give away a SKME. And let's do this on January 3rd, so we're not waiting a long time. January 3rd, 2017, all you have to do to be eligible for this giveaway is like this video, subscribe to my channel, and then comment below with the country that you live in somewhere in the comment, because I can only open this up to people that live in the United States, Canada, and Guam, maybe? A lot of pan dudes in Guam. Panda Nation's pretty popular there. So anyway, uh... On June 3rd, we will give this bad boy away. So, like, subscribe, and comment below. Peter Rumpanda, out.